Here we go. Yum, Almost yum. tournament time. We're in the Oasis in Mobridge. Breakfast time. Breakfast was good. We're gonna head to Runnings and get a few things. Some terminal tackle. And get all set up. Little Runnings. A little extra stuff. I need some more snaps. And then the killer crawlers. These things are deadly on slow death. But I brought a bunch and I don't have a lot left so stopped at runnings and picked up a few more bags. So guys I'm out in the boat here. It's the last day we're trying to get everything organized. I'm just gonna get um, some bottom bouncer rods set up and then uh, I'm gonna tie some extra leads on a little floaty so i have that in case i break my line uh, out on the water i can just grab one off the floaty and boom put it right back on it's all about uh, time management when you're on the water so especially in a tournament that's about it otherwise i'm pretty much set up all my leg core lines are set up get my baits out um, that's pretty much it Hey guys, I'll show you here my setup for slow death. I'm using a Flippin' Max, um, Silver Max reel. It's got the uh, button for the flipping switch, which allows me to release, and then the button automatically comes right back up. So that's that's really nice when you're bottom bouncing because of the depth, the depth change. Especially, you know, if you have two lines in your hand and you're up in the front of the boat running the bow mount, and then if you need to reel line up, you just use your thumb and you roll it up or if you need to go back down you just go back down so it, it pretty much makes it hands free awesome reel and that's uh by abu garcia and then my and then the rod is an elite tech uh walleye in the walleye series is seven footer um uh, medium moderate and i really like that because i can hold these rods all day and bottom bounce and not get fatigued my wrists don't get fatigued because i got two ounce bottom bouncers on there i like to be pretty much straight down i like to know where my line is at all times so awesome hook they just came out with that it makes it a lot easier to get those crawlers to spin And I don't use a polymer knot on this. I use a polymer knot on a lot of things, but I like with the slow death, I just use the fisherman's knot. Um, always wet your knots. Because um, it sits straighter, I think. Polymer knots sometimes will make your hook sit to the side or off to the side. I like the just the plain old fisherman's knot where it's straight tied right on there. It's a strong knot. But obviously, I use the polymer knots to connect all the super lines, my fire line to everything. So, guys, we're just eliminating rods here. Just took all these out of my rod locker. These are the ones I don't need. More. I'm going to put a couple slabs on these in case I uh, jig the pillars um, and a slab is kind of like a one eye or just a heavy lead weight with a treble hook on the bottom allows you to get down deep fast these pillars are you know 50 to 70 feet deep some of them um, so we jig those usually that bites not around this time of the year but you never know and it's typically bigger walleyes there so They've been known to be caught there. That's about it. Getting the boat lighter, getting everything out that I don't need that I used in pre-fish. So, yeah. 
Good times. I got to get my trolling rods out too that I'm not using. I won't be using my my fire line trolling rods. I'm going to keep a few monos in there in case it's super windy. I can use a heavy weight and just use the, the tadpole and just do a 50-50 deal um, to get a crankbait down 30 feet because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trolling around 30 feet. We'll do waypoints later with the team, get everything organized, find out where everybody's going, who's going to what spot. Just putting stuff away that I know I'm not going to use in the tournament here into my truck vault. Um, truck vault's awesome because I can fit my uh, 3700 Plano boxes in here. Just looking for stuff to pull by the bridge pillars. Those little blade baits. Looking for something heavy. These might be good actually. Take these along. Oh, those are made by Johnson. But anyways, yeah, the truck vault is awesome. I mean, the stuff fits, you know, my 3700 Plano box keep, keeps me so organized. I can just drop the stuff in. I keep all my tackle organized. Take tackle out of my boat, put tackle in. Um, and it's very secure, you know, that it locks if it's waterproof, even though it's covered by my topper. I think that's all I need. And it's the whole length of my truck, so I can keep a lot of tackle and tools. Um, yeah. Let's go load the boat up. This is my game box here. Flicker shads. Flicker shads, flicker minnows, flicker minnows, new flicker minnows, new colors, jointed uh, shad wraps, bigger flicker minnows, and then I have all my weighted lures for fishing the bridge. I'm gonna go tie up some extra leads for my slow death and uh, my um, my slow death and my uh, lead core. Be pretty much set. All right, guys, we're heading to the rules meeting or the registration, and then the rules meetings at five o'clock isn't that right yeah five o'clock so we're cutting across the country here we're heading to Mobridge um, and it should be interesting it sounds like they're lowering the limit of the fish that we have to catch it was at 14 and now it's gonna be 12 inches so that'll change the game a little bit for the guys that are probably just going for big overs and and you know they can scoop up a couple little ones. Um, our game in pre-fish was to try to find find overs, obviously, but uh, find the bigger bigger slot fish that are just under 20 inches. So, be interesting. We'll we'll hear at the rules meeting here. We're gonna head there right now. I'll show you a little bit of that, and then um, we're gonna head back. I do have to tie up some, a few more leaders for uh, tournament day and then probably cash in pretty early tonight. See you there.
These ladies work hard all year long. Hello, Robert Cardenas. <laughs> you cool, man. You're, uh, you're got me. Yeah. Robert, did you get one of these? You don't like snakes? Uh, no. How are snakes in your neighborhood? <laughs> Not good. Oh my god, it's Robert Cardenas! <laughs> Rattlesnake, huh? <laughs> Mr. Scott Duncan in the house. <laughs> the Corey Springle. Ten. Dave and Rick. Oh, this is awesome right here. We're signing a jersey for a little guy up in uh, Walker, Minnesota, right? Yep. Struggling with cancer. Hold it tight, Anywhere? Nick. Anywhere you want. Awesome. Super, thank you. Look at this guy, he's putting lipstick on because I'm coming over. Hey, no snakes. <laughs> they, they say, they Watch say out. No. Anybody else around here that has snakes, in back there snakes. Trying, so I, I can do not want, want snakes. I should get out of here. It's an absolutely fantastic year. So, you look around this room, and this may be the smallest field of the year, because it is the championship. But it is also a field that holds more punch than any other field all season. I had down there, taking back and forth to your trucks and your boats. So, it's, uh, it's really awesome when we come up here to Long Ridge. We don't go anywhere else in the year, we go to some really great places. I just had dinner with the team. We went over everything we're going to do. Um, got back from the rules meeting. Just finishing tying up a couple more uh, leads here. And going to get to bed. It's about 8.30 right now. Looking forward to the tournament tomorrow. It'll be tough to get, you know, footage. We're supposed to have 30 mile an hour winds. So it's going to be hard enough with just boat control. So my concentration's on tournament fishing, of course, um, but we'll we'll do what we can do, and I'm looking forward to it. South Dakota's been rough. I had a bunch of hail damage to my truck, storms, 80 mile an hour winds, storm after storm after storm, um, but tournament's coming. I'm excited. I'm going to go get some sleep. We'll see you guys.